Hello everyone, very good evening and welcome to this live session regarding 5 months current affairs revision topic wise for the upcoming IBPS PO mains examination so that your GA preparation will be enhanced. So very good morning, every, very good evening everyone. Shall we start with the topic wise revision? Are you ready? Yes, for the IBPS examination, the general awareness section needs 6 to 7 months current affairs revision. Okay, so we'll be starting from the April month and we'll be continuing till August month. Recently, I've covered the September month and in the November month, I'll be covering the October current affairs. Okay, shall we start? Very good evening. Yes. Moving on to the topic wise revision hope you can see my screen yes first we'll deal with the national news then international then sports then awards and appointments yes okay very good evening yes we are going to start now moving on so the first topic is under the national news the indian institute of sciences bengaluru has been adjured as overall best indian university in the national institute of institutional ranking framework 2018 this is the third uh, revision or ranking given by ministry of human resource and development who is the minister prakash javadekar so here what is the current affairs so isc bangalore has rank the top institute in this NIR, NIRF framework for 2018 who is a minister Prakash Devadekar is a minister okay moving on to the next one the HRD ministry has launched the second edition of Unnat Bharat Abhyan recently this was asked in IBS PSPO RRB mains examination what is Unnat Bharat Abhyan the IITs IISC Bangalore etc will be tying up with rural villages so that they will be developed okay yes that is called the Unnat Bharat Abhyan launched by Ministry of Human Resource and Development moving on to the next current affair that is DU smart city has become the first city in India to run on 100% renewable energy during daytime so Daman DU is a union territory so it has become the first union territory or the first city in India to run on 100% renewable energy. Who is the administrator for Diamondu? Praful Koda Patel is the administrator for Diamondu. Okay, I have just listed out the important ones which are very important for the examination. Next, Union Minister for Railways and Coal, that is Piyush Goyal, has launched the Uttam app. What does Uttam stands for? Unlocking transparency by third party assessment of mined coal for coal monitoring okay Uttam map is for coal monitoring earlier we used to have the Koila app Koila app is also for coal monitoring coal dispatching actually coal monitoring we have Uttam app and Prapti app we know it it is for power okay so next is linguistic linguist from university of hyderabad has discovered two languages called valmiki and malhar okay which are predominantly spoken in the remote regions of odisha so odisha has these two languages valmiki and they may ask you valmiki and malhar belongs to which state or these were discovered by which linguistic scientist which university it is university of hyderabad okay moving on to the next current affairs Recently, the, in the April month, geographical indication tag was allotted to Adilabad, Dokra and Varangal Durris. These are from Telangana state. What do you mean by geographical indication? Geographical indication means they are produced at the respective place only like Tirupati Laddu, okay, Banaras, Saris. Okay? So they are specific to the respective regions next Uttar Pradesh government has launched the Ganga Haritima Yojana also known as Ganga greenery schemes in 26 27 districts of the states so that planting trees will be done along the banks of Ganga okay it was launched by the Uttar Pradesh government okay 
Next, West Bengal government has launched a scheme called Rupa Shri, very important scheme in order to ensure safe future for young women. This scheme was launched by the West Bengal government for the future of young women. Next, Delhi has become the first city in India to supply ultra clean Bharat stage 6, BS6 fuel from April 1st, 2018 onwards. Okay, from January 2019 onwards, rest other cities will be taking up. Okay, but Delhi has become the first city to take up this BS Bharat stage 6 fuel so that they will be emitting less nitrogen oxide and sulfur dioxide. Okay, particularly when the stage increases, the sulfur content decreases. Okay, next Civil Aviation Minister Suresh Prabhu has inaugurated the first flight under Udan scheme. What does Udan stands for? Ude Desh Ki Aam Nagrik. Facilitating the common man to take up the flights at the real local prices from Delhi to Pathan Court at the Indira Gandhi National Airport, New Delhi. Okay, this was the first Udan flight. Next, India's first high speed electro locomotive has been flagged off by the Prime Minister from the Madhepura electric locomotive factory in Bihar. This question was asked in recent IBPS RRBPO mains examination. Okay, so it was flagged off from Bihar the first electric locomotive from India. Okay, moving on to the banking or finance. Next. The Reserve Bank of India has projected the GDP growth for 2018-19 as 7.4%. Okay, this is a growth rate predicted by whom? Reserve Bank of India. Okay, what was the growth for the first quarter? It is 8.2% from April to June 2018. Clear with this? This is the actual growth, but this is the total fiscal growth for 2018-19 prediction by whom? RBI, the Central Bank of India. It has also come up with the first bi-monthly monetary policy, though it is not required because it changes for every two months. Okay. Now next, 11 banks were kept under RBI's prompt corrective action when they face when they have high NPAs. The 21 public sector banks. Out of the 21 public sector banks, 11 were kept under prompt corrective action. Okay, some RBI will suggest some measures to control these NPS. These are the banks which include the 11 public sector banks of out of total 21 public sector banks. Okay, next RBI has tightened reporting norms for the LRS scheme. What is this LRS scheme? Liberalized remittance scheme under which individual can transfer up to 2.5 lakhs dollars abroad in India. Okay, so maximum limit to transfer the money is 2.5 lakhs dollars under LRS scheme. They may ask you what is the highest amount. Next, the government has amended income tax rules that will allow transgenders to be recognized as independent category of applicants under permanent account. Generally, we have male, female, right? In the PAN cards. Now, we'll be having under the independent category in the PAN cards. So, transgenders will be included as independent category in the PAN cards. Okay, permanent account number which is of how many digits? How many digits is? So, 10 digits, right? Alpha numeric code. Next, Jammu and Kashmir Bank has launched special financing scheme called Add on Working Capital GST. Add on Working Capital GST scheme to help the state industry cope up with delay in reimbursement of GST claims. So, to facilitate the GST returns, add on working capital GST was enabled by Jammu Kashmir Bank. Next, Kotak becomes the first bank to roll out artificial intelligence run voice board called Kia. Okay, Kotak Mahindra Bank is a private sector bank 
Uday Kotak is the chairman, right? So it has come up with the first artificial boat voice boat called Kia. Either after that, and there are many voice boats like Sia for SBI, like that. Next, Sidbi has celebrated its foundation day. When is the foundation day of Sidbi? It is 2nd April 2000. Sorry, it was celebrated on 2nd April 2018. Sidbi stands for Small Industries Development Bank of India. Its headquarters is at Lucknow. Who is the chairman? Mohammad Mustafa, right? So it has celebrated its foundation day on 2nd April uh, with the launch of Samriddhi, the virtual assistant and bankability kit. Okay, so Samriddhi, they can ask you who has launched Samriddhi. Again, it is Sidbi. Remember, S stands for Sidbi. Next, the third annual meeting of Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank on enhancing port and coastal infrastructure infrastructure has begun in Vishakapatnam. So Asian Infrastructure and Investment Bank, its headquarters is at Beijing of China. Its president is Jin Likin. Okay. Next, the Geo Payments Bank has begun operations from 3rd April 2018. Uh, with HS Krishnan, Sri Krishnan as MD and CO. Okay, Geo Payments Bank, you know who has launched it, Mukesh Ambani, right? So it is a revolutionary product. Geo Phone and Geo Payments Bank has come out from 3rd April 2018, which is the first payments bank in India. First payments bank is Airtel Payments Bank. This was asked many times in many examinations. Next. The Jana Small Finance Bank, that is called Jana Lakshmi Financial Services, announced the commencement of its operations in April 2018 with the theme, sorry, with the caption or title, Liko Apni Kahani, write your own story. Okay, next, ICICI Bank has become the first to enable SWIFT cross-border payment service. What do you mean by SWIFT? SWIFT is nothing but international messaging services. Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunication. It is a 8 to 11 digit code. So that we can message between different banks worldwide. Okay, so in from India, ICICI Bank has become the first bank to enable SWIFT's cross-border payment services. This was done in April. Okay, next, India Index Services and Products Limited, ISL, an arm of the National Stock Exchange Limited, has launched Nifty Equity Savings Index that will serve as benchmark for equity savings fund. So, ISL, it is an arm of NSC. Where is the headquarters of NSC? Mumbai, right? Who is MD and CEO? Vikram Limaye. Who is the chairperson? Ashok Chawala, right? So it has launched its first Nifty Equity Savings Index, the ISL, the arm of NSC. Next, the National Stock Exchange has announced its launch of E. GSEC. What does GSEC stands for? Government Securities. So this was launched by NSC. NSC was established in the year 1992. It is a statutory body because it has an act. It has an act of Parliament. I think this we have covered already. Eleven public sector banks and Bandhan Bank joins the club of top most top 50 most valuable Indian companies. Bandhan Bank is a private sector bank. Okay, the MD and CEO is Chandrasekhar Ghosh. And where is its headquarters? In Kolkata. Okay, next. 19 crore Indian adults don't have bank account as per 
World Bank. World Bank states 19 crore Indians out of total 125 plus crores, 19 crores doesn't have bank accounts. As per, they may ask you how much is the amount or how much is the value. Next, Broad and Fund Regulatory Development Authority makes bank account mobile number mandatory for NPS subscribers. NPS stands for National Pension System. Okay. So anyone can join this NPS. Earlier it was only for government employees. Now anyone can join this National Pension System. So PFRDA is under Ministry of Labor and Employment. Who is the minister? Santosh Gangwar is a minister. Next, Barclays Bank has inked a deal in Pune for largest office outside UK. Barclays Bank is based in UK, particularly it is a UK based bank and it has inked a deal in Pune for its largest office outside UK. Next, robots greet customers at world's first personless branch in China. This was developed by Construction Bank of China this is the second largest bank in China. This has developed the first personless bank branch. Okay, all are run by robots only with artificial intelligence, machine learning, etc. Okay, next we have covered national banking and finance. Now we'll move on to the appointments of April 2018. I am covering only the most important ones. Okay, so moving on to the appointments, ML Srivatsava was appointed as the Protem Chairman of Lalit Kala Academy of Arts, which was established in 1954. Its headquarters is in New Delhi. So Lalit Kala Academy is very famous for arts like music, dance, drama, etc. So ML Srivatsava was appointed as the Chairman of Lalit Kala Academy. Okay, next Arun Jaitley was reappointed as the leader of Rajya Sabha. He was elected for the Rajya Sabha from Gujarat constituency. For Rajya Sabha, whole state is a constituency. So from Gujarat, he was elected as the member of Rajya Sabha. Then he was re-elected as the leader of Rajya Sabha. Okay, next Ames Professor Balram Bhargava was appointed as the new ICMR chief. Indian Council of Medical Research. Rishad Premji and Debjani Ghosh was named as NASCOM Chairman and President for 2018-19. So Rishad Premji is for Chairman of NASCOM and Debjani Ghosh was appointed as President. She is the first woman President of NASCOM. National Association of Software and Services Companies, which is headquartered at Noida. Next, Himant Biswa Sharma was appointed as Badminton Association of India Chairman. Next, Abdul Fatah LCC was elected as the President of Egypt. Egypt's capital is Cairo. And the currency is pound. Abdul Fatal LCC was elected as the president of Egypt. Next, moving on to the next appointment, Banu Prata Sharma, BP Sharma was appointed as very important Banks Board Bureau Chairman. Next, Tanya Sanyal has become the first woman firefighter appointed by Airports Authority of India. So she was appointed as the first woman firefighter. Next, senior bureaucrat Suresh Kumar assumes additional charge of Coal India Chairman and Managing Director. Who is appointed as CMD of Coal India? It is Suresh Kumar. Next, Indu Malhotra, the first woman lawyer elevated directly from the bar. Okay, that is a lawyers association takes oath as first Supreme Court judge who was elevated from the directly from the bar. Okay, first woman chief 
जस्टिस ऑफ इंडिया इज फातिमा बीवी सो टिल नाउ वी हैव एट वुमन जजेस इन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंडियन सुप्रीम कोर्ट क्लियर फर्स्ट वुमन चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ इंडिया इज फातिमा बीवी ओके नेक्स्ट Moving on to the international news for April 2018, India's largest owned state bank, that is State Bank of India, has become the first foreign bank in the UK after launching its UK subsidiary SBI UK. So SBI UK is the first foreign bank subsidiary. Don't think there are the, there are no other banks in UK which are foreign, but it is Indian foreign. bank subsidiary okay indian foreign bank subsidiary okay so how much is a capital commitment 225 million pounds next tata sons and singapore airlines vistara so vistara is the joint partnership of tata sons and singapore airlines so this has become the third indian carrier to become the member of iata iata stands for international air transport association which is headquartered at montreal of canada we also have international civil aviation organization which is at montreal of canada okay next the office of the united states trade representative once again placed india on priority watch list in its annual special 301 report on the basis of intellectual property production intellectual property rights you know it right these are trademarks copyrights so on basis of this us has placed india on priority watch list next haryana government has appointed international shooter gauri shiyoran as the brand ambassadors of measles and rubella vaccine these are the diseases okay which are caused by virus particularly so for this gauri shiyoran was appointed she who is a international shooter she was appointed for haryana government ambassador next bangladesh prime minister sheikh hasina has announced the scrapping of of reservation in government jobs so who has announced this bangladesh prime minister bangladesh capital is dhaka and currency is taka dhaka taka okay next events in india now we'll see most of the events occur in india at new delhi that is the capital region of india and others set remaining places so i have categorized based on new delhi and others so that it will be easy for you to recollect so secure india conclave was held at new delhi first international small and medium enterprises convention under the ministry of small medium enterprises who is a minister giriraj singh is a minister it was also held at new delhi 16th international energy forum ministerial meeting with the theme the future of global energy security transition technology trade and investment was held at new delhi global logistic summit this question was asked in many examinations global logistic summit 16th international energy forum ministerial meeting india japan usa tri party dialogue was also asked in many examinations was held in new delhi and 14 114th meeting of permanent indus commission between india and pakistan there is an indus water treaty between india and pakistan which was signed in the year 1960 world bank was a mediator between india and pakistan okay clear a national karif conference was held at new delhi karif means you know what are the karif crops rice groundnut maize etc okay asia pacific regional conf workshop of the united nations convention to combat desertification so that 
more land will not be converted into deserts. India Wesbaden Conference 2018 was held in New Delhi. The title, Securing Global Supply Chains Through Common Industry Partnerships Towards Effective Implementation of UN Re UNSC Resolution 1540. So these were the events which were held at New Delhi. Okay. Next, other events. Suppose if any event is held at New Delhi, no need to remember that. If there are other events which are held at other than New Delhi, please remember it. So what are the other events? 8th Regional 3R Forum Asia and Pacific held in Indore of Madhya Pradesh. Okay. With the theme Achieving Clean Water, Clean Land and Clean Air through 3 hours and resource efficiency a 21st century vision for Asia Pacific communities. You know right 3 hours reuse, recycle okay, and refuse. Asia's largest startup ecosystem congregation Huddle Kerala was held in Kerala at Kovalam. Okay, next. 8th edition of Theatre Olympics has been concluded in Mumbai Maharashtra with the theme Flag of Friendship. First regional conference of eastern states on water resources was held at Kolkata. This is the first regional conference of the eastern states. Generally we have eight northeastern states and four particular eastern states like Bihar, Jharkhand, okay, Odisha, Kolkata, etc. West Bengal, sorry. Next, events in the world. Moving on to the events in the world, International Buddhist Conference was held at Lumbini of Nepal. Why Lumbini? Because Lumbini is the birthplace of Lord Buddha. So it was held to on the UN Vesak Day. What is Vesak Day? Vesak Day is generally held. It is the birth and death day of Lord Buddha. Okay, so Buddha Jayanti and with the theme Lumbini Nepal, the birthplace of Lord Buddha and the foundation of Buddhism and world peace. Next, the first international conference on water, environment and climate change, knowledge sharing and partnership was held at Kathmandu in Nepal. The famous Biscuit Jatra is being celebrated at Bhaktapur and other parts in Kathmandu of Nepal. Recently we have seen Dashain festival. It is a Vijay Dashmi of Nepal. Biscuit Jatra is also observed in Nepal. The first informal summit between Prime Minister Modi and Chinese President Xi Jinping was held in Wuhan. Recently there was between Russia and Indian PM. It was held at New Delhi, right? The 19th Indo-Russia Bilateral Summit. This is a formal summit, but this is informal summit was held at Wuhan. Okay, and informal summit between India and Russia was held at Sochi. Okay. Next, the 2018 Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting was held in London, United Kingdom with the theme Towards a Common Future. This is a very important and Malaria Summit was held in London. It was attended by Bill Gates, the head of Microsoft. Okay, and Malaria is caused by female anophilus mosquito. It causes dengue, uh, the same mosquito causes dengue, chikungunya, etc. The 29th Arab League Summit was held at Dharan in Saudi Arabia to promote Arab joint action. And Bo Forum of Asia called as Summer Davos was held at Bova, a coastal town in Southern Hainan province of Hainan, China. Okay, with the theme open and innovative Asia for a world of greater prosperity. And the 7th Moscow Conference on International Security was held at Moscow of Russia. If you study one or two times, you will rep if you repeat them one or two times, you can easily remember this current affairs. Next, we shall see the rankings based on India, particularly, and who has topped the list. So, according to the data provided by Indian Cellular Association, India has replaced Vietnam to become the second largest producer of mobile phones. So, China has topped it, 
earlier it was Vietnam in the second place now India is in second place third is Vietnam and India was ranked 130 out of 186 countries and recently released index of freedom 2018 which measures the degree of economic freedom in the countries which was stopped by so Hong Kong is first in the economic freedom and India was ranked 130th in economic freedom in, in recently HDA value was also released it India was 130th right next According to the World Press Freedom Index by Reporters with broad, Without Borders, India was placed 138th out of 180. So first is Norway in Press Freedom and 138th is India in the Press Freedom Index given by Reporters Without Borders. They may ask you, this report is given by, okay, PDF will be provided, don't worry. According to recently released Migration and Development Brief by World Bank, India retained top position in recipient of remittance without about, with, with about 69 billion in 2017. So India is first in remittances received by received from NRIs. So NRIs are sending more money to India so that India is at first place in terms of remittances next moving on to the science and technology baba kavach baba kavach a next generation bulletproof jacket was developed by bark baba atomic research center which is based in mumbai the indian space research organization has successfully launched irns 1i a navigational satellite from IRNS stands for Indian Regional Navigational Satellite System. It's a Indian GPS satellites. The name given for Indian GPS is NAVIC. Navigational Indian Constellation. Okay. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration, that is NASA, has launched TESS. TESS stands for Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite. What do you mean by exoplanets? After we have uh, Neptune, we have some exoplanets. Okay? So those are called exoplanets, which are similar to the planets in the solar system. So to discover those exoplanets, this TESS was sent by NASA. NASA's headquarters is at Washington DC next scientists have discovered a giant mosquito with a wingspan of 11.15 centimeters in China's Sichuan province these are the some of the science and technology news moving on to the defense news for the April 2018 Harimau Shakti so Harimau Shakti Shakti means generally it is related to India only right so Harimau Shakti is a bilateral training exercise between India and Malaysia. So remember MA stands for Malaysia in Harimau. Next multinational, multinational counter-terrorism exercise called Peace Mission. Peace Mission is related to Shanghai Cooperation Organization which is a grouping of eight nations. Recently it was conducted at Ural Mountains at, in Russia. India and Pakistan has participated for the first time after they have become members of SCO. Okay, and SCO's headquarters is at Beijing of China. Next, indigenously developed light combat aircraft Tejas has successfully testified their be air to air beyond visual range missile. LCA Tejas is developed by HAL. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited is a lightweight, indigenously developed. An Indian Air Force has carried out one of its biggest, biggest combat exercises named Gagan Shakti. Gagan Shakti means, you know, right, it is of IAF exercise to show the mighty strength of Indian Air Force. Next, Desert Tiger 5. Desert Tiger 5 is 
joint military exercise between UAE and Malaysia. Harimau Shakti is between India and Malaysia. Desert Tiger 5 is between UAE and Malaysia. And Indian Coast Guard and South Africa South Korea Coast Guard has conducted a joint exercise named Sahyog Hebel Yog between India and South Korea's Coast Guards. South Korea's capital is Seoul and its currency is won, W O N, which is also the currency of North Korea. NASA has successfully conducted advanced supersonic parachute inflation research experiment. Okay, to that will help its space exploration to land on Mars. So they may ask you, Aspire is of NASA and it is aimed to land on the red planet that is Mars which is the fourth planet from Sun and China's Tiangyang 1 has entered the Earth atmosphere and fell in the South Pacific Ocean and fell in the South Pacific Ocean okay so Tiangyang belongs to China which has fell in the South Pacific Ocean and Pakistan has successfully test fired its missile called Babar Babar is a founder of Mughal Empire in India. So, Babar is a submarine launch cruise missile which is of Pakistan. Okay, and Gauri is also a missile. This is of also Pakistan only. Recently, this was a current affairs. We will see in the later. ISRO has lost its contact with the most powerful communication satellite called GSAT 6A. So they may ask you which satellite was launched, which has lost its communication with ISRO. It is GSAT 6A. Next, Sagar Kavach. The two-day coastal exercise was conducted on the Kerala coast to assess the loopholes in the coastal security. Okay, Sagar Kavach. Baba Kavach is bulletproof jacket. Sagar Kavach is coastal security exercise. So next moving on to the awards for the April 2018. Egyptian photojournalist Mohamed Abu Zayed known as Shakwan has won the UNESCO's Guillermo Cano Press Freedom Award. Okay, he is a jailed Egyptian photojournalist. So he was given this Press Freedom Prize of UNESCO. UNESCO's headquarters is at Paris of France. Asha Bosley, the famous singer, has received the PC Chandra Puraskar Award at the Science City Auditorium in Maharashtra. Okay. Next, Bengal Digampur Gram Panchayat has backed the center's award for the best Gram Panchayat in the country. So, this is of West Bengal. It has taken the best GP award. Next, Karan Johar has become the first ever Bollywood filmmaker to get a place at the famous Madame Tussauds. It is in London. It is also there in India also. Okay. So, best ever, first ever Bollywood director. Next, Pulitzer Prize. It is generally given in journalism. and also TV or films etc. So New York Times and New Yorker have won the Pulitzer Prize for Public Service category and American rapper is known as Kendrick Lamar has won the first non-classical or jazz artist to win the Pulitzer Prize for his album called D.A.M. and Dan in the music category. Kendrick Lamar has won the Pulitzer Prize in the music category. Next, 65th National Film Awards were announced for 2017. Who is the best actress? Sri Devi for Mom, Riddhi Sen, best actor for Nagar Kirtan, and Dada Sahib Falke Award, Vinod Khanna, best feature film, Village Rockstar. This was recently first Indian Oscar entry, sorry, only Indian Oscar entry. For 2019 Oscar Awards. Okay, it is an Assamese film directed by Rima Das. It has won many awards. And Best Actor Bijayaraj for Bhayanakam Mayalalam. These are the National Film Awards 
2017 65th national film awards given by government of india next moving on to sports so commonwealth games were held at gold coast 2018 were held at gold coast australia right and 2022 will be held at Birmingham of England right and who has won the first gold for India Meera by Chanu or Meera by Chandi Ch Sanjita Chanu has won the gold in the weightlifting category she's recently she has also won the Rajiv Khel Ratna award along with Virat Kohli right only these two people have won the Rajiv Khel Ratna award. Next Indian contingent has won 66 medals and taking third place. First is Australia, second is England and third is India with 66 gold, 20 silver and 20 bronze totally. 66 medals were won by India. Next, Kerala has lifted the Santosh Trophy. Santosh Trophy is related to football, beating defending champions and 32 time winners, Bengal. So, Kerala versus Bengal, and Kerala has won the Santosh Trophy for football at the Salt Lake Stadium. So, they may ask you where is Salt Lake Stadium? It is in Kerala. And next, Miami Open Tennis, men's singles, John Eisner and Solana Stephens has won the women's singles. Next, the last one, important days. We'll see what are those important days. World Autism Day is very important. Empowering women and girls with autism is a theme. And next, National Maritime Day, April 5th, Indian Shipping and Ocean of Opportunity. And World Health Day is very important, April 7th, Universal Health Coverage, Everyone and Everywhere is the theme of World Health Day. It is observed on April 7th, April 13th is Janyan Walabagh Massacre, which was happened at Amritsar in Punjab. World Liver Day is April 14th, World Hemophilia Day is on April 17th, Sharing Knowledge Makes Us Stronger, World Heritage Day. The theme is heritage for generations. This is observed by International Council for Monuments and Sites, which is based at Paris of France. And Civil Services Day is observed, National Civil Services Day. And we have the Lal Bahadur Shastri National Academy of Administration, which is at Mussoorie. All the civil servants, servants will be trained for first some months at LBS NA. New India and Shaping the Future is the theme and very important is World Earth Day which is observed on April 22nd. April 22nd is World Earth Day. March 22nd is World Water Day. And June 5th is World Environment Day. So what is the theme of World Earth Day? End Plastic Pollution. World Earth Day is end plastic pollution. World Environment Day is beat plastic pollution. Okay, National Panchayat Raj Day because the 73rd and 74th Amendment related to Panchayat Raj was passed in 1993 on April 24th. Next, World Malaria Day, ready to beat malaria is a theme. Next, World Intellectual Property Day, powering change, women, innovation and creativity. World Intellectual Property organization is headquartered at Geneva of Switzerland. And International Dance Day and International Jazz Day are also very important. Okay. Yes. So successfully we have completed the revision. Go through once again or twice or thrice so that you will remember and recollect very much perfectly okay so all the best from my side i'll meet you again on next monday okay on 22nd october 2018 with may month revision okay so that you will not miss any question from the ibpspo mains examination or you will score at least 25 to 30 plus marks in the 
general awareness section or you will attempt more than 25 plus questions or 30 plus questions okay so thank you so much for joining take very good care of yourselves i'll meet you next time bye